Congratulations, you made it through week two about the humanitarian context. I hope you get a better understanding of this challenging environment. During this week, we have seen that the humanitarian system is complex, with many stakeholders not always coordinated. Despite that, they are increasingly challenged, especially in current conflicts. Humanitarian principles that are impartiality, neutrality, independence and humanity must remain a reference tool to guide humanitarian action. During this week, we have also seen that in a humanitarian context, despite urgent needs, you should not rush to the implementation of activities. Such behavior is likely to result in inadequate projects to address critical needs. You should ensure that adequate time and resources are committed to assess and analyze the needs and formulate a strategy in order to design effective and relevant projects for the beneficiaries. The project management cycle is a sequence of logic steps to help you to maximize the benefits of projects for the beneficiaries. Humanitarian action has been mainly designed to respond to the needs in acute emergencies and in rural environments. However, nowadays, we see an increasingly number of protracted conflicts that take place in urban environments. It poses new challenges. Indeed, people in urban contexts rely on essential services. These services are beyond the technical capacity and the direct physical control of the residents. It affects the resilience of the inhabitants. These essential services, such as water supply, power supply, sanitation, are interconnected. No electricity, no water. This interconnectivity between essential services needs to be understood and properly integrated into humanitarian action in order to avoid counterproductive effects. Urban services require three elements in order to function. People, hardware and consumables. Disruption to an essential service occurs when the functions of any of the critical people, hardware or consumables are compromised. These three components can be affected by direct, indirect and cumulative impacts. Direct impacts such as damages to infrastructure from explosive munitions attracts the most attention. But field experience suggests that the cumulative impact is the most destructive and the most difficult to recover from. Humanitarian response in urban areas is a major challenge of today's humanitarian crisis. Further information of these critical issues can be found in this ICRC publication.